Listen to this. A major new discovery by NASA could bring us closer to finding life elsewhere in our solar system. Scientists said yesterday that moons orbiting Jupiter and Saturn could provide a habitat for life. They have been studying data from the Cassini spacecraft and the Hubble Space Telescope. Jan Crawford is inside the Hubble Telescope Command Center at the Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning, Charlie. So in this room, I mean, this is where the engineers and the scientists monitor the Hubble telescope. And the telescope and the Cassini spacecraft are helping us learn more about those oceans on the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. And these latest discoveries could influence future exploration in our search for life beyond our planet. This animation shows NASA's Cassini spacecraft diving through a plume of gas and ice spraying from Saturn's moon Enceladus. Instruments aboard the spacecraft detected a significant amount of hydrogen. NASA announced its findings during an online news conference. That hydrogen is coming from a hydrothermal vent on the seafloor of Enceladus, going out into space through the plume. Here on Earth, hydrogen from vents at the ocean floor serve as food source for microbes. These warm oases, if you will, tend to harbor the development of all sorts of life. So NASA is thinking that perhaps that's exactly what's going on around these hydrothermal vents at the floor of the oceans at Enceladus. We now know that Enceladus has almost all of the ingredients that you would need to support life as we know it. Scientists also believe Jupiter's moon Europa has a sea of water beneath its frozen crust. On Thursday, researchers also announced that the Hubble telescope has again spotted towering plumes of water erupting from cracks in Europa's crust. We're pushing the frontiers. We're looking in a way that we've never thought possible before for environments in our solar system which may harbor life. To do that, they need new tools. NASA will retire the Cassini spacecraft later this year, nearly 20 years after it launched. Four years for this moment. NASA engineers have already prototyped new technology to discover more about these oceans, including a rover that could drill through ice and send samples back to the surface. We might find, if we go out there, could be anything from microbes, which is much more likely than anything else, to maybe something that's more fully developed. Now, Thursday's discovery is just a first step. NASA is set to launch the Europa Clipper, which will go to Jupiter in the early 2020s, and it will map its moon and possibly actually go through those plumes to tell us more about potential life on Europa. Anthony? Wow, so exciting what's happening, Jan. Thank you.